Tesla is boasting the progress it's making training its Optimus humanoid robot for the real world as the EV automaker prepares to scale its production. In this new footage, the Tesla bot is seen traversing rough terrain for the very first time. Why is this a big deal? What does it mean for Tesla's plans to mass produce the humanoid? And how does the demo stack against the competition? Let's take a look. Tesla just shared the clip from its official Optimus account on the X social media platform. According to a post by Optimus engineer Milan Kovic, the AI robot's ability to walk on mulched ground isn't the remarkable part. He said Optimus is keeping its balance blind as it relies solely on its onboard sensors and neural networks without any visual input. The AI controls each limb independently without the need for teleoperation. The engineer said the Optimus team is adding vision for better planning, making the gait look more natural on diverse terrain, and improving the robot's responsiveness to velocity and direction commands. The neural network processes data in just 2 to 3 milliseconds. On Elon Musk's X platform, users were particularly impressed with the Tesla bot's quick recovery when it almost slips. Kovac said the team is teaching Optimus to minimize damage when falling is unavoidable and how to get back up. Tesla plans to manufacture at least a thousand Optimus robots to work in its factories in 2025. They're aiming to commercialize the Tesla bot starting in 2026. Sharing the short video on X, Musk said there are already Optimus robots roaming Tesla's Palo Alto facility, where its vision is used for static and dynamic object avoidance. When it does become available, the Optimus is expected to be pricey until production is scaled. To tide people over, Tesla has released a $40 Optimus figurine with its own cyber hammer. Offering a glimpse of the future demand for Optimus, the toy robot sells out within minutes when new stock has been added, and the demand even crashed Tesla's online store. Musk has said the Tesla bot could eventually retail for between 20 and 30,000, which he considers a deal for a machine that can do almost anything a human can do. Because I think everyone of the 8 billion people of Earth, I think everyone's going to want their Optimus buddy. Tesla belongs to a growing array of companies globally trying to perfect bipedal locomotion as they race to mass produce their advanced AI robots. Atlas by Boston Dynamics is known for its agility and ability to navigate rough terrain. The legacy hydraulic version of the robot became well known for its ability to perform parkour movements. However, demos of the new fully electric Atlas have focused on industrial tasks rather than stunts. Digit by Agility Robotics specializes in logistics and warehouse tasks, but can navigate varied terrains. Early commercialization efforts in the early 2020s emphasized its extreme terrain adaptability, as Digit was positioned as a last-mile delivery solution. Digit has also shown it can get itself back up after falling. China-based startup engine AI may be giving Tesla a run for its money in achieving human-like walking gait with AI. Other Chinese firms are also rapidly advancing the locomotion of their bipedal robots over varied terrains, including Robot Era, whose Star One recently became the world's fastest humanoid, and Unitree Robotics, whose G1 achieved this human-like gait with two days of simulation training. Tesla may be the first to proclaim blind navigation, and the automaker has a huge advantage with its proven ability to scale production of complex machinery. Tesla has 38 open positions on its website related to the Tesla bot, including 33 AI and robotics-related roles, including software, hardware, and system design positions, 3 engineering and information technology roles focusing on mechanical and supplier industrialization, one manufacturing engineer, and three internships for engineering students in winter and spring 2025. Tesla also recently shared this demo of Optimus with its new and improved hand. The Tesla bot's official X account posted the 16-second clip on Thanksgiving. The hand's actuators are now in the forearm, mimicking human tendons for better functionality and realism. It's the actuators, the muscles of your hand, are almost overwhelmingly in your forearm. Mm -hmm. So your forearm has the has the muscles that that actually control your hand. Um, this, there's a there's a few small muscles in the hand itself, but your hand is really um, like a skeleton meat puppet, <laughs> and, the, and and with cables. That so the the muscles that control your fingers are in your forearm.
Optimus engineer Milan Kovic posted a detailed explanation of the demo. He said the new hand and forearm double the dexterity compared to the Generation 2 Optimus, with 22 degrees of freedom on the hand and 3 on the wrist. The video of the Optimus robot playing catch with a tennis ball was made the prior night by a teleoperation in Tesla's lab. He said the demo gives the team confidence the new hand design can integrate with the next major iteration of the Optimus. Tesla engineers are working to integrate extended tactile sensing with more surface coverage. They're also refining fine tendon controls and reducing the forearm's weight. The Gen 3 hand was showcased during Tesla's Wii Robot event in October when the much-anticipated robot taxi was unveiled. The hand in the new demo is more refined, with layering that makes it look more human-like. Kovic said the big challenge now is balancing the squishiness of the protective layer on the fingers and palms without compromising tactile sensing. Tesla is emphasizing the hand's dexterity as it positions the Optimus as a general-purpose humanoid helper that can do virtually any task a human can. Because I think everyone of the 8 billion people of Earth, I think everyone's going to want their Optimus buddy. The current generation Tesla bot's hand has 11 degrees of freedom for performing basic manipulation tasks like picking up objects, sorting by color or shape, and using basic tools. Tesla has released footage of Optimus robots moving battery cells and doing light work at its Gigafactory. With enhanced dexterity, the Tesla bot could handle delicate assembly, fragile items, healthcare tasks, and maybe even play the guitar. A growing array of companies are racing to develop robotic hands that are uncannily human-like. Clone Robotics has introduced a hand design with 27 degrees of freedom, matching the dexterity of human hands. The startup, which operates out of the United States and Poland, says it's working towards synthetic humans. Clone's hand is designed for long-term, autonomous operation in complex environments. According to Clone, the hand is the result of eight years of research and development. It uses proprietary hydraulic muscles and force valves, making it 10 times stronger than other robotic hands. Shadow Robot Company's Dexterous Hand and OpenAI's Dactyl Hand have 24 degrees of freedom. As the robot moves toward mass production, Tesla is focused on enhancing its autonomous capabilities and practical applications. Tesla's full self-driving software is integrated with the Tesla bot for environmental perception and decision-making. Though the robot's autonomy still relies on human assistance for complex scenarios, recent demos have shown advancements toward independence. What chores would you have an Optimus take off your hands? Let me know in the comments.